What's up guys, my name's Dean, or as most of you know me, Twisty, and let us get in to the round, uh, 21? Round 21? Uh, preview. Uh, we're gonna take a look at every change this week, uh, and I think there's a few we might have to address as well. Uh, so let's get straight into it tonight. We got the dogs and the pies. Where is this being played? I think it's at Etihad Stadium because it's a Bulldogs home game. It indeed is. So they've got Suckling coming in for Dale Morris, who's gone out with a hamstring injury. Uh, then you've got for the Pies, Goldsack, who's been playing VFL most of the year. Darcy Moore comes back in after the week off. Oxley back in, Dugowie and Phillips into that side. With Mason Cox going out with a shoulder, Ben Reed with a knee. Travis Cloak is being dropped. Uh, and same as Marley Williams and Ben Crocker out with concussion. So, plenty of changes there for the Pies. It's interesting that they've gone... Uh, that they've got rid of three tall bikes. I would have thought Cloak would have stayed in, given that Reed was out as well, but I guess he's more of a, a backman than a, a forward. So Moore comes in for really Cloak and, and Cox, and then Goldsack will go back, I guess, to replace Reed. It's, it's an interesting sort of change there. But uh, nevertheless, I think the Bulldogs, they're still somewhat of a premiership threat, but I think that... Uh, if they didn't have any injuries, they would be premiership favourites. It's ridiculous how well they've gone this season without uh, so many of their key players. And I feel like they are just cherry ripe for September, apart from obviously, you know, the obvious injuries. Uh, but I still think they are a very good chance. They're a very good chance of, of a top four as well. Uh, they're going to win probably the next three matches. Uh, if anyone above them falls, they've got a big chance of jumping up in there. But uh, I'm, I'm thinking they're going to get at least a home final here, the Dogs. They'll win tonight, and they'll win the next couple of games. So uh, they'll win. Collingwood need to show a little bit of something uh, after their performance last week. Now let's keep going. Brisbane up at the Gabba, who have not won a game in the Gabba forever, uh, have, uh, are playing Carlton. And they, uh, who have they got coming in? They've got Cutler, Close, Jansen, and Stefan Martin, not Martin, uh, for Josh Shackey, who's out with General Soreness, Dawson, Josh Green, and Nick Robertson with foot and knee injuries, respectively. So they've definitely got something they need to show here, Brisbane. Uh, and they're playing Carlton, who were pretty disappointing last week against the Saints. They'll look to bounce back. Liam Jones, the cult hero, coming in, uh, as well as Cunningham in for Nick Graham and Andrew Walker. Obviously, he retired last week, so he's out of that team. Uh, I think that, it, it, regardless of what happens, Brisbane will have a different coach for next year, but Carlton should win this game. Uh, they've been playing better football this year than Brisbane has, and, and Brisbane, they've been pretty poor at home, but... And they, they've generally, over the last couple of seasons, they've had a pretty decent home record uh, compared to their away record. Uh, and, and even this year, they kind of did that a little bit as well. They almost upset Sydney up there. Uh, there's a couple of other close games up there at home. But since since that time, they've really been pretty dismal. So I think Carlton are going to win this game just because uh, they've been playing more consistent football throughout the year. On Saturday afternoon at the MCG, we've got a big game. This is uh, a, probably a finals-like preview here uh, of Hawthorne versus North Melbourne. Frawley, Shields, Puopolo, Burton and Hartung in for the Hawks with O'Brien, O'Rourke, Heatherly, Sicily and Stratton out of that side. So Stratton out for the pectoral muscle for the rest of the home and away season, possibly back for the final series, and Sicily just the one-week suspension there as well. Uh, and then for North Melbourne, you've got Hanson and Nahas coming in for Clark and McKenzie. Now, I don't know if Hanson's played too many AFL-level games this year. He's been pretty good last couple of seasons, but I don't think he's played too many home and away games this year. Yeah, so whether or not he plays finals is could be a wild card for North Melbourne. He's been stuck in the VFL most of the year, so there's probably an indication that he's not uh, as in good form as he should be. Now, the Hawks, they are going to bounce back. They don't lose two in a row. Um, I know that's a cliche that it, that like a lot of people will be like, they're like, oh yeah, Hawthorne won't lose two games in a row. Well, the thing is, they won't, uh, especially not to North Melbourne. They're a side that they always, they always manage to beat, I think, just uh, regardless of uh, the type of form that they're in. They play them sort of in a 
not a great patch earlier on in the season, but uh, I think they will come out firing here and absolutely take it to them. Frawley back in and Piopolo are huge ins as well as Shields and Hartung. So just gives them a lot more run uh, through there. A lot of forward pressure with Piopolo and Frawley is definitely their best defender back there or best one-on-one -on -one defender uh, apart from Gibson. So uh, it's good to have him back into the side, especially because North have a bunch of tools in there. Forward line, but uh, I guess weight's not in there. Anyway, Hawthorne are going to win that one. Moving on, the Giants and the Eagles, another top eight v top eight clash, a critical clash. The Giants, uh, they would want to win at home, and the Eagles, they would want a win away to get them a home final. Uh, but let's keep uh, keep with the changes. Uh, Kennedy, Shield, and Kennedy? Did they have Matt Kennedy and Adam Kennedy in the side? Maybe they do. Uh, in for Wilson, Reed, and Himmelberg's been managed here. So maybe they're priming him for a finals berth, uh, Harrison Himmelberg. But that, they got such a, a big list dilemma because they got so many good players. They just have to pick the right mix for that final series, the Giants, and make sure that they're going to go out firing in there. West Coast have got Butler and Nelson uh, as their two changes. So Butler comes in for Nelson, uh, which is... You know, an, an interesting interesting change there as well. So, uh, with everything in mind, the Giants will win this game. They're playing at home. West Coast are playing away. West Coast, uh, they haven't lost to the Giants yet, uh, the West Coast Eagles. But I think this will be the first time uh, for everything. So this will be the year that the Giants just uh, go in firing. I, I love the Giants. Uh, I say it every week. And you guys probably get sick of hearing it because you're like, oh, well, he's so biased towards the Giants. Well, no, they're, they're a pretty good side. They're a pretty exciting outfit. They just run uh, so well. And getting Shield back in is a good in. Uh, Matt Kennedy, a nice small forward in there. So uh, very interesting, well, good good things coming for, uh, for the uh, Giants. They're going to win this game. They're going to hopefully secure themselves a top four spot with the win. And then, or you never even know because of the way that the, the draw is and there's still five teams in, in the running for the top four. By the West Coast Eagles, they're probably going to screw their top four chances up this week uh, as well as giving themselves no real opportunity for um, it, yeah, home final. So if they lose this week, they are pretty much got to win the next two to make sure they get a home final and even then it's going to be tough. All right, next. Uh, Port Adelaide take on Melbourne. They've got Palmer. Loby finally comes back into that team. And O'Shea in for Archie, Butcher, and Stewart. So uh, how will Port Adelaide go with the Ruckman again? I think that will be the big question this week because they've done so well with Trengove, who hasn't really won the Ruck, but he's sort of been thereabouts in ground level. Like, he's won the Ruck a couple of occasions, but... Uh, hasn't been sort of a, an extraordinarily dominant Ruckman in there and just competed really hard. So now that they've got Loby back, what do they do? Do they stick him in the forward line? Do they put him into the Ruck and just hope that their midfielders respond? Because I think that that was the thing. Once Trengove came in, their midfield actually lifted because they had to work harder because they knew they weren't going to get the Ruck tap kind of thing. Uh, so once they get Loby back in, uh, does that mean they're going to revert back to their ways at the start of the season and sort of be pretty poor around that midfield and clearance region? But they're coming up against Maxi Gorn, who is one of the best Ruckman in the game, if not the best Ruckman at the moment. I feel like he is the best Ruckman at the moment. Uh, and the Melbourne side. So Hogan comes in for Wiedemann into that team. Just the one change after their big win over the Hawks last week. And uh, I've got to go with the Ds here on, on just pure form. They beat Hawthorne last week. Uh, they've got to back it up. These are generally the games they'll lose. They'll, they'll win a really good one, and then they'll lose. This is the turning point for them, Melbourne. They're going to win this week. They're going to beat Port Adelaide, and Port Adelaide are going to be in all sorts of strife come next season. On to Saturday night. To, oh, if well, that wasn't already a first Saturday night game. Um... Which it was. It was a Saturday night game. Uh, that Port one. Uh, and this one, we got St Kilda and the Sydney Swans. This is the Pride game uh, at Eddie Head Stadium here. Uh, we've got St Kilda and the Sydney Swans, as I just said. Paddy McCartan coming back into that St Kilda side after a few weeks out with concussion. So that uh, indefinite break is now up after about three or four weeks, I think. Uh, and the Swans have got no changes from last week to their squad. So uh, this is a key match. If Hawthorne beat North Melbourne and the Saints beat Sydney, finals are game on. Because St Kilda then play Richmond and I think Brisbane over the last two weeks. And North Melbourne play two other really good top eight teams. So, I'm going to pick the Saints in this one. They're at home. 
They got McCartan. They got Membry. They got Bruce. The Sydney defence is not as strong as it has been over the last few years. If those three, or at least one of those three, can get firing over their opponents, the Saints will win this match, and they will get the chocolates, and they'll be one step closer to an insane finals berth. But um, I think they can do it. I, if they can keep Buddy to, like, four goals, they can do it. Go the Saints. Uh, <laughs> I'm tipping with my heart now because I know that I'm so far behind in my tipping comp that it doesn't matter. Uh, Sunday game, we got the Bombers taking on the Gold Coast Suns. For the Dons, Stokes, Long, Jake Long to make his debut. Rosario, Fantasia, Will Hams, Redman, Glankford, and Simkin into their squad of 25. Uh, Dempsey out with a hamstring, got under the groin. Aaron France with the cast, and Darcy Parrish has been arrested this week. So they're the four changes confirmed for this week for the Bombers. Uh, but we've confirmed that uh, Jake Long will be making his debut in that game as well. For the Gold Coast Suns, side is coming in as well as Clay Cameron. Uh, Aaron Hall, Seb Tate, and uh, Keegan Brooksby in there as well for Tommy Nichols and Alex Sexton, I'm going to say. Alex? Is it Alex? I feel like it's Alex. Uh, but they're, they're playing at uh, the Etihad Stadium, not the MCG, this one. Up. Oh, that's right, because I'll be at the MCG on Sunday. Yeah, no, anyway, confuse yourself, Dean. Uh, and this is at the Etihad Stadium. This is going to be an interesting one because... I think the Gold Coast are going to win uh, and win, you know, pretty happily because they played super well against the Giants last week. Only just lost it in the end. Led for most of the match or were in touch most of the match. Only lost by the eight points. Took it up to them, and they're, they're probably going to be the big shooters next year. The, the Gold Coast Suns because they have this, they have this really good list. It just depends on how many they keep, I guess, in that list. But they've got this really good list, and if they're healthy enough they're going to push it and do something. So I think the Gold Coast Suns will win this game, uh, also because I don't think Essendon uh, will, will win another game for the year, but I think we've known that since round two. Anyway, let's keep going. Freeman on the Adelaide Crows. This is the Sunday Twilight game. Um, it's my second last game for, for some reason. But uh, Sunday Twilight, Subin, Tabana, Mzungu, Blakely and Sutcliffe into that Fremantle side, although I believe someone has just withdrawn and Ibbotson is into that squad. Let me have a look here. Let me have a look. All right, so, yep, that's right. Ibbotson has gone in and uh, Blakely, I believe. No, not Blakely. It's uh, Subin Tavana. Oh, Mzungu has been omitted from that side with some sort of illness. Uh, and Ibbotson is back into that squad of 25. So uh, that's sort of a minor change that I haven't got there because I did these last night. Uh, and then for the Adelaide Crows, i got Scott Thompson, Wig to make his debut, maybe. Uh, McGovern and Kelly in for Seedsman with a uh, cork. I think it's a corked, corked buttocks. So that's, that's an interesting injury. Uh, the Crows are going to win this one, regardless of where it's played. Uh, it's at Domain, but uh, the Crows... We'll get the job done because they just... Uh, or what's it? Patterson's? No, don't matter. Same thing. Uh, they, they, they'll get it done because they're a firing side and they'll be right up there in that top four bracket. Uh, and then we've got the final game of the round, which is not really the final game of the round, but the second last game of the round. This Sunday afternoon, the MCG, I'll be there. Richmond taking on Geelong. Shane Edwards, Todd Elton, Ben Lennon, Kane Lambert in for the Tigers. Ben Griffiths out with the groin injury. So that's the squad there. Uh, and then you've got Jake Kolajasny, Linga McCarthy, uh, Shane Kirsten, Darcy Lang, and Tom Ruggles into the squad for Geelong with Menzel out with a groin injury, and Mackie has been rested. So, interesting change there with Dan Menzel. He's been probably their most dangerous forward of late, so it'll be interesting to see how they go without him there. And if Hawkins can't fire, um, you never know. Richmond could pull off an upset. I'm back in the Tigers here, although I don't really think we have too much of a chance. But um, if anyone's going to upset Geelong, it's definitely not us because we haven't beaten them since Hardwick's been at the club. So uh, I'm hoping Richmond will get the win, but Geelong will probably get the, the job done. And when I say probably, I mean like they're, they're going to win. But I'm backing in my side because I have to do it. Uh, show a little bit of belief and Richmond hopefully will win the game. Anyway, that is it for today's preview. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. My God, there are so many emails and look at this light surrounding me. Oh my goodness. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys later.